Hi, in this lesson, we're going to look at how we can create graphics using Python. Let's get started. Before we begin writing programs, let's take a look at the coordinate system we'll be using with Python graphics. As you can see, the 0, 0 point is located in the top left-hand corner. The x values increase as we move right, and the y values increase as we move down. For example, this point would be located at 200 in the x direction and 0 in the y direction. And this point would be located at 100 in the x direction and 400 in the y direction. From these values, we can see that our canvas is 400 pixels wide and 500 pixels tall. We can actually designate the dimensions of our canvas using the set size command. Inside the parentheses, we place the width and the height of the canvas separated by a comma. When we run this command, we can see a canvas that is double as tall as it is wide. If we change the order of these commands, we'll see that our canvas is now wider than it is tall. Note that the default canvas size is about 400 by 500 pixels. We can create a text object by using the keyword text with a capital T and including the text we want to print to the screen inside parentheses. If we are printing a string, we need to remember to use quotation marks around the text. We should save this text object to a variable. So for example, we could save the text object with the string hello world inside a variable called greeting. To place this object on our screen, we simply need to use the keyword add and place the variable name inside parentheses. Together, these commands can be used to add a text object to the screen. When we run these commands in our editor, though, we don't see anything on the screen. This is because the text is located just off the screen where it can't be viewed. We can use another command to alter the position of the text object so it will be viewable. We can use the setPosition command to change the location of an object on our screen by providing the x and y coordinate values. Now when the commands are run, we can see the text label near the center of the screen. Note that text objects are always set from the bottom left corner of the text, so in this case, the bottom left of the h will be located at position 100-200. We can change the font attributes through the use of the set font command. Inside quotation marks, we provide information about the font we would like to use. The size of the font is written first, then the font name is included. Some examples are Arial, Times New Roman, Roboto, or Futura as shown here. When we run the program with this additional font information, we see a larger text label in our specified font style. The last thing we may want to do with our text objects is change their color. The setColor command can be used with a color name written as color.colorName inside parentheses. When we set the color to red, our text will be shown on the screen in a red hue. We can also create lines on our screen by using the line keyword and entering in the x and y coordinates of each end of the line in parentheses. When we run these commands, we see a line drawn on our screen. The first two values are the x and y coordinates for the first point, and the second two values show the x and y coordinates of the second point. We can also use the setColor command on our line to change its color. Now you may be wondering which color names you can use in Python. These 10 color names can be used as is, but what if we wanted to color an object pink? Another way we can color items in Python graphics is by using the hex code of a specific color. Hex codes are created by combining three codes of two characters each that tell how much red, blue, and green exists in the color. So if we wanted to use this specific shade of pink, we could take the hex code of F67280 and enter it into our set color command inside quotation marks. We just need to remember to include the pound sign at the beginning of the code. Let's take a look at an example in the editor. In our example program, we are going to write the name Tracy to the screen in green and place a line 20 pixels below the text in yellow using a hex code. To get started on this program, we're going to need to save our text object to a variable. So I'm just going to use txt as the variable name, and I'll use text keyword with a capital T and Tracy is what I want to print to the screen. 
Now I need to set the position of it so I can do txt dot set position and I want that to be at 50 200. Now to set the color I do the same thing variable name dot set color and I want it to be green. I can set the font by using set font and I'm going to make it 30 and Futura. Now if I run this I won't see anything on my screen because I have never added the actual text object to the screen yet. So if I run it now I'll be able to see my green Tracy on the screen. I want to underline my name so I'm going to create a line and I'll call it line. I need to use lot, the line keyword with a capital L and I want the first point to be at 50 to 20 and the second point to be at 150 to 20. And if I use the exact same Y coordinates that means that my line is going to be horizontal because the two Y points are going to have the same um, coordinate. So I can set the color of this line and I want to use a hex code which is FCBC1C and I need to make sure I put those in quotation marks and all I need to do now is add my line. Great! In this lesson we learned how to create and add text and line objects to our screen. We also learned how to color our objects using both color names and hex codes. Now it's your turn.